story in Italy that's prize money and medals on offer once more as the Swatch FIVB World Tour heads back to Norway and to Stavanger. Good evening from Vorgen Harbour Centre Court here in southwest Norway. And wherever you're watching, a very warm welcome back to Grand Slam action from me, Rob Hatch. Well, we've only been away a week, but I'm sure you've all missed us. The good news for all you fans out there is that those FIVB heroes are back to entertain us for the next straight six weeks and entertain this crowd. As always in Norway, plenty of people have been in this afternoon. They've been watching home success, two men's victories, but it's on to the women's draw we got. And, of course, the first of our televised matches this week, the women's quarterfinals. And to contest it, we have two of the form teams this season. Sanna Kaiser and Marlene Van Yersel of the Netherlands picked up two gold medals this season. But they now have to pit their wits against this lady, Kerry Walsh, the Olympic reigning world champion, alongside her partner, Misty May Trader. For well, the USA, experienced and decorated. 32 and 33 years of age, respectively, Walsh and May Trader. Misty May, for those of you who might be new to beach volleyball, is a defensive legend in this sport. Plays backcourt and her comeback last year, not great with Nicole Branner, but she's back with her old partner and they're going for gold again in London. What about these two young ladies, a team who have been ever improving over the last few years, but this year have made their big, big breakthrough. Moline Van Yersel's 23 years of age. She's on the right-hand side wearing number one. Santa Kaiser, three years her senior. The uh, big tall in this partnership, 1 meter 82, and she has a very uh, mean serve on her. First serve at, uh, 19, 10. We're just waiting a few minutes more. So the court being clean. Those who've been in watching Norway just gone off to get a quick beverage and a snack or even warm up. The temperature has dropped quite considerably here in the last couple of hours. It has been finally a sunny afternoon here in Stavonga. Norwegian Riviera getting some sunshine with those northerly winds going along to blow away the clouds that have lingered and brought rain all week long to this event. Well, it's been full play here this week as at every Grand Slam on the Swatch FIVB World Tour. Now into knockout stages, of course. If you lose, you go home. Grand Slam also means lots of prize money on offer. This is where the tournament starts to get serious. Trying to meet the referee. It is uh, Marc Berard of France, who's in the main chair for this one. And Julien Bruxelles is the second referee. Time to meet the teams then. Time for them to be introduced to the crowd. The last time they played together here, they won. Kerry Walsh, gold medalist in 2008 in Stavanger. Misty May Trainer, who played uh, last year with Nicole Branner and came third here, has also never been out of the final four. Marlene Van Yersel and her partner have come fifth in this very event in the last two seasons, and they have their supporters in the crowd as well. Van der Kaiser, Netherlands uh, in black, keep themselves nice and warm, but of course uh, wearing white. The United States in blue. On the left-hand side of the screen as we look at it. It will be the Netherlands who will serve from right to left to get us out of the way. So line and cross-court block signal depending on which player. Just as though they'll block cross-court to uh, Misty May. Set up, but Kaiser looks to attack. But it's Marlene Van Yersel who has the beating of Kerry Walsh at the net. Not often you can say that. Kerry not quite getting over it, she would have wished. 1 0 the Netherlands. Van 
the interval goes again. So it's cross court aiming towards Misty May. It goes long though. May serve targets uh, Sam Kaiser. Lovely cut shot. For all Misty May trainers' defensive abilities, unable to get down, strip that one up. Side out for the Netherlands. Oh, it's gone long this time. Kaiser, the guilty party. Both teams, of course, just having a look at each other here. The United States uh, now serving with Kerry Walsh, unbeaten this week, yet to drop a set. And in very good form despite uh, losing the World Championship final in Rome the other week. They haven't fared bad since their comeback. They're showing their form via the point. Two goals, two consecutive goals that this season, in fact. It had sixth and seventh in Mitlovich and Shanghai, but finishing first and first. Nicely dug out by Van Yersel now. Looks to try and complete it. Lovely little roll shot. That's a big, big point for the Netherlands. They have the first real lead here. Just rolling the bomb over the ball. Kills it nice and dead before the line. Line block wasn't the correct choice for the United States. It's two cross-court blocks with a signal from the Netherlands. They train up. This time as the United States pick off their opponents. Four three then and we have a side change. Misty May goes long, cross court again, Van Yersel yeah. the target, but how that for a response? Nicely made, she had to be so careful not to touch the net there. And the Kaiser finishing it off with a bit of venom as well. So 5-3, Netherlands siding out to lead by two. Good serve as well, puts May under pressure but she deals with it well. However, can't find the finish. And they find themselves... Uh, a bit of a puzzle to solve here in the United States early doors. Three points down. Not the want to have uh, been unbeaten all week. Looking very, very good and then lose at this stage. It's early. The Netherlands are looking very good. Nice response by Kerry Walsh. of course, who's uh, been through two pregnancies since she was last here. Goes across as the Van Yerza looks to hit. Too powerful for her. 7-4. Netherlands back on serve. Lovely hit. Van Yerza cross court in towards Misty Mayer. Early targets. All going the same way. It's working for the Netherlands. 73.1 kilometers per hour, the serve speed. United States able to put a move together to deal with it well. Move to the right hand side. Nicely taken. Kerry Walsh goes over into attempting to a surprise. No surprise though, and the Netherlands showing how solid their game is at the moment. Both of these girls train in the Hague will be uh, very at home with the cold and windy conditions here this week. And one of the best wind games on tour, it will have helped them on the outside courts. Not so much on sender where it's uh, fairly still. There's another right old breeze blowing out on the outside courts this week. All the teams have had to deal with it. Certainly in full play, upsets can happen. It's in it this afternoon in the men's game. Big strong Chinese and Brazilian teams beaten by the host nation. Norway. And also so the former world champions Brinken Reckman beaten early on today by Poland. That's a nice hit by uh, Sander Kaiser. 
once again restores that three point lead. The United States, as of yet, unable to claw anything back. Marlene Van Yerdel. Nice high bump by Kerry Walsh. Misty May looks to attack. Not successful there, but that is. And now it starts to get a little more serious. Ten points to six, a four-point lead. And the States with uh, work to do to claw themselves back. Straight into the reception of Kerry Walsh. Just a change in tactic from the Netherlands. But a side out for the States is what exactly what was needed there. Luckily for them, they got it. And it goes long. Up against Santa Kaiser. Not going to get that far though. It's a double touch that's been called. Referee Mark Berra, eagle-eyed. This is what he saw. Plenty of spin off the set there. This time the setting is good. The attack wasn't, and the United States back to within a point. Very, very good couple of minutes for May and Walsh. Just with all of their experience and ability, they weren't have panicked. Certainly there would have been a bit of concern with the early four-point deficit. So just test San Kaiser low down, scoops it up and hits the line. Side out much needed for the Netherlands on that occasion. Whatever happens, they will be ahead at the technical timeout. That's pointless. This of course the first chance to sit down. But, uh, two cross-court blocks are called on Marlene Van Yertel. Serve was good. Kaiser up against Walsh. Walsh with a touch. Can't repel the ball and it takes 12 9 scoreline. The Netherlands in charge as we sit down at the technical timeout. Now she's just not got a block on yet, Miss Kerry. These girls certainly on form. Look like they're enjoying themselves as well. Smiles upon the faces. And there's so much to learn and so long so many seasons in which to assert their authority at this level just 23 and 26 years of age 32 tournaments together two gold medals best here in Norway two fifth places they're going to make the final four for the eighth time in their careers Kaiser and Van Yersel Santa Kaiser. A lovely cut shot from May. Doesn't work though. And Yosa was down to it well. Can't hit the line though. And it's a good start for the US post technical timeout. Nice digging from Marlene Van Yersel. Got down very well to get that ball out. They're a versatile team, the Netherlands. Can both defend, can both play at the net when needed to do. Santa Kaiser up to the net this time. Lost that set in the wind lightly. This time to spike. And it's Kerry Walsh. As a consequence who has served for the United States. Oh dear. Certainly not what she wanted to produce. Good she can smile about it as Marlene Van Yersel attempts to do better. Nice high ball toss. It's a venomous hit cross court. But equally good was the reply. More methodical than spectacular, but it worked. Getting beyond the block of Van Yersel. Misty May again into the net. Seems to be catching. Two service opportunities wasted by uh, those ladies in blue. Nice bump 
but for Walsh, shut. good shot is good. Just apologises perhaps uh, overstepping the mark and flipping a partner on the way up and down. There we go, it's on the way down after the ball was hit. No infringement. She'll be happy to take the serve here. This time she makes the opposition play. Set behind is far too close to the net. Walsh is there to pounce. We're all level at 14 points apiece. And this is where the resistance and perhaps lack of the relative experience of the Netherlands is going to be tested. Twice as many tournaments together. This United Serbs pairing. Of course, they've won over half the tournaments they've played together at international level. Most important of those, those Olympic medals. Gold in Beijing, and they want it again. They definitely want it again in London. At the minute, we're going to have uh, a bit of review. Our referee, Monsieur Berard from France, just inquiring and asking for an explanation from the line judge. And after the United States girls disputed the call. After checking the ball mark, the ball mark is out, so it's a point for USA. Well, the girls seem confident. Walsh and May, they were also ready to serve. Not too much dispute either from the Netherlands. Trying to get back on things here as Walsh is over there. Quick hands, strong hands, and now there's a lead. Keyword experience. Three points on the spin now, showing her worth. Hey, in the midst of all that, there was a yellow card handed out to Santa Kaiser for uh, something unsavoury she might have uttered towards the referee's chair. That there was sweet. Nice hit, and a good way to get back into the game. Slide out. Trying to forget about the last few minutes for the Netherlands. been their best ever season despite the fact that we're not even halfway through it yet. Two gold medals, the first. Never won an event before at this level. With the end of the net there, they win the point and level things up at 16 each. I don't know we were at timeouts taken by either team yet. Any real distortion of the score here and expect of the team on the negative end of it to take that time out to disrupt any momentum. Here's Misty May, just pushes it beyond the block of Kaiser. There's the response. It's gone the way of the Dutch. And that pendulum of momentum swings their way once again. Lovely bit of defending by Van Yersel. Kaiser with the awareness, Misty May, unable to reach it. by May, Walsh does the tidying up, and Yuzel with a response though, May's there, you can see the ball swirling around when he gets nice and high, it was high enough and sitting well enough for May to put a hand right through at that time though, nice spike on the angle, nobody there to respond, you can see hitting to the right of the block of Santa Kaiser, 17 each, May serves long and high from way behind the baseline. That before's a lovely little delicate pokey. Mixing up nicely. All manner of range of shots and hits brought to the fore by the United States of America. Bang on the line. And as we change sides, Misty May trainer will serve. Change of the angle of attack, Kerry Walsh responds, and what a time to respond to. Now she's at the blocking party. Two point lead, two points within taking the set. The US has finally turned up to this quarter final. It's a good bit of defending from Van Yersel. Once more, Kerry's there. Kerry showing class, set point for the States, 
they have uh, three of them to play with. Well, here comes that timeout we said uh, would most probably arrive. It is the Dutch are on the negative end of it. Locking Queen, Kerry Walsh, back on her throat. And in one of her favourite cities as well, as far as uh, the practice of beach volleyball is concerned. Previous winner here, silver, bronze, and even a fourth place. She's had just about everything in uh, terms of placings in Stalonga. Good news on this Dimey is that knee of hers doesn't look to be causing too many problems. You can see it's uh, very much strapped up. They need the points from these Grand Slams. Certainly expect them to perhaps take uh, a tournament or two off when they get back into the open phase of the season. The big Grand Slam points are all about that qualification for the Olympic Games. Intense competition amongst the United States women. The likes of Kessie and Ross, Akers and Branner. And of course, Hansen and Fendrick, who've been playing wonderful beach volleyball so far this season. Set point. Big high set for Sana Kaiser to hit. She hits it well, right onto the back line. It's all smiles. And all the states have to do is side out here for the set. Is that nice? It's worth another look as well. Kaiser has to get this one right. Walsh is up there. And years are looking to respond. This time it's Misty May to turn to have a spike. Plenty of space to hit. She hits it well. There's the first set. The United States 21 18 to the good. One set to nil. And the Netherlands, despite being the head for the majority of it, courtesy of this hit from Misty May trainer, find themselves behind in the match. So, one foot in the semi-finals and yet another final four. It has been a wonderful comeback so far for Walsh and Misty May. Not without its problems in terms of injuries for the girl on the left. But after a couple of tournaments rest, she was back at the World Championships looking good. But that, for the meantime, this place wouldn't be a disaster for them. But of course, having had fifth here, in 2009 and 2010. It's all about making that step up to the final four and still longer if they can. But to do that, they're going to have to come from behind. USA very much in control. for the start of set two then. This is just the one of the four quarterfinals we have. Italy versus the United States. Kessie Ross against Ciccolari at Menegatti is one of the others. Golo Ludwig of Germany up against the Greeks. Uh, Arveniti and Sanziani. He's still a cross court towards Santa Kaiser. She looks to rise and side out straight away and side out she does. Is it far too hard for a opponent to deal with? Gary could get enough meat on it. That's Van Yersel. He goes to take the ball. Okay, that jumps over for a decent pace on it. Go get your power. We all know that the opponents are more than capable of it. 1-1. Walsh to serve. Just to finish those uh, quarterfinals for Juliana Larissa, of course the world champions, the Neo world champions, will be up against Fabi uh, Hansel and Sara Montagnoli of Austria. In the meantime, another side out for the Dutch. So it's not the easiest to control that. Done well. Over in two. It's a very, very good spot by Santa Kaiser. But it's not all about method and putting set plays together. A bit of spontaneity always required awareness. Kaiser produced it well. So, 
know, is the story repeating itself? It's exact spot in the first set, but the two-point lead was eked out by the Netherlands. Turn two to four, but of course uh, they ended up losing the first set by three. But can't have for little. It's all about concentrating right the way through. They need to force a third here as Misty May looks to try and side out for the States and side out she does. So 4-3, side change. Not too much in it. But if you're joining us a little late, the United States on Friday night beach volleyball here from Stavanger in Norway are a set to the good. High set, very close to the net. Perfectly positioned, in fact, as Walsh is well beaten. It's Van Yersel's turn. Misjudged it completely. Well, I'm not sure whether she misjudged the takeoff. I think she might have found a foot in the sand well there. She's laughing about it. Let's collect the evidence. Oh, it was. Sand not quite as level as she thought. Little trip. I'm unable to make the jump. So it's uh, an unnecessary error, unfortunately, for the Netherlands. 4-4. No error there, though. Nice, clean strike of the ball on the angle. 5-4. Well, Kerry's not happy with herself. She did make some excellent blocks at the business end of the first set. Has yet to appear in the second, as far as that's concerned. So the service fault. Make sure that they go to 5-5. Five five. High bump. Nice kill as well. It was Redwell as far as uh, the defensive tactics were concerned. Blocked the line, which is exactly where Santa Kaiser played the ball. But of course, you can see she played it around the block and just in front of the defensive dig. Nice control bump. Really sets it up oh. in lovely fashion for Misty May Trainer. Walsh and May at their very, very classy best there. Such control on the ball. And that's how it was finished. 6-6. Six, six. The Netherlands this time, who used the brains. Nicely disguised play. Quickly move on. Kaiser now, cross court in towards May, bumped by Walsh, goes long but it's uh, a last ditch attempt to keep the ball in play, out, they look fairly close but no complaint from the States, it allows the Netherlands just to take the lead, let's take a look, the poke, and in the end it's a good couple of centimetres over the line, Hence the absence of a dispute. And the absence of any real quality on serve there. Disappointing for the Dutch girls. Just attempting to float it into the far corner. Misty May in the meantime with that knee brace. Getting perhaps as much power as she wanted it on serve. But there's Kerry Walsh with the block. Doesn't quite win the point. She'll bump it up for May to hit now. And again, the Dutch keep it in. Good rally, this. Misty with another chance. This time, no mistake. Swats it beyond the path of the extended arms of Santa Kaiser. Frustration. Eight points apiece. Oh, that's a nice hit. A very, very nice hit. They back to the fine. Just the uh, inability of Misty May to get down and dig it out. Hit hard, but way too hard. Again, an error on service from Marlin Van Yersel. Kerry Walsh has turned. Again, 
Kerry's practicing a block there. Expecting perhaps to make it a little cleaner. Well, scoops up. Nice hit on the angle, but solid in defence was Marlin Van Yersel. Vicious in attack as well. So the score moves on. Technical timeout time fast approaching. Mistakes as they were in the first set down again. Good serve. It's well dug out by Walsh. The State's doing their best to try and keep it in. Not a chance though. 12-9. We are as we were in set one. But remember, straight after this technical timeout is when Walsh and May really turned on the sub. Stuff and star to go with it. But the Netherlands very much confident and sure that they can force a third set. Certainly with their body language displaying that uh, that would be the case. Already been beaten once this week. Spanish 22nd seeds of Baquerizo and Fernandez. But then the three sets, it was uh, a match that lasted an hour and three minutes. 29-27 in set one. 24-26 in set two. But picking it up, 18-16 in the third. A set down and showing real fighting spirit. So plenty more to come from them, I'm sure. Walsh changes the angle of attack. Thirty-nine. Four points of difference. Now then. It is really time to think about this for the United States. Two straight points. Suddenly, a deficit of five. They want to avoid playing a third set if possible. Just save some energy. That could be the first step on pulling away and things back. And the 36 goals from 64 events. It is uh, nothing short of extremely impressive. Out. So that's two from two. Back to within three, the difference. <laughs> Takes down low. Right down the centre, splitting them there. Kerry tries to cut. There's now Marlene Van Yersel. That's too powerful. Well, through the gate there. So, time out taken. The United States advance. And the attempts of the Netherlands to put the brakes on that been a good couple of minutes for the reigning Olympic champions. Remember the road to London really does start here. We're a year away from the Games now. Well, just over a year. They start next July. Preparations for the stadium in all Scots Parade in the British capital are being laid. Well, they'll all be there, all shapes and sizes. Just as they are here in Norway. Everybody really buys into this event every year. Certainly not a stereotype you'd associate with Scandinavia beach volleyball, but it's one of the most fanatical countries in the world, Norway, for this sport. Kaiser hits, and that timeout works. A wonderful strike of the ball. 15 12, they get the serve back. Six points to hold out on side out if they're to force a third set here. 
Nice high ball toss. It's hit very hard, but May responds with solid defence. Over twice. Walsh needs to go. Misty May can't make it at the third attempt. Arms flying all over the place there. But no really useful contact made on the ball. It was clever from Santa Kaiser. Well, they played with determination, class uh, and intelligence so far in this match. Despite being a set down. Four points up in the second here though. 16-12. Vanier's all to serve. Well, the states are claiming it. The referee says he saw it from his chair on the line. The problem that the Dutch girls had is that the line judge gave it out. Mark Vera looking unmoved. It's going to be a yellow card. He doesn't want to waste time here. States claim it straight away. Let's have a look for ourselves. Again, it was hit very hard. And look at the flag go up. That means it's out. Well, so he thought, the referee of course overruling, a point to the United States of America. Bump, not quite close enough to the net maybe. Walsh deals with it well. She looks to finish. The Netherlands all at sea as far as the defensive tactics are concerned. And they must now work hard to get the service back. Two on the spin for the States. So much space to aim for that. All they do is cut it wide into space. That's better. Strong side out. The smiles are back on the faces. The confidence returns. Hey, Walsh beaten at the net. Well, she was blocking cross court. Misty was also defending cross court. That's where the problem lay there. Misty spike so vicious that the defence uh, had the ball coming straight back at them. Top defence from Kerry Walsh. Misty with a lovely set next to Emis. Now Van Yersel's turn to try and kill the point, and she does. Cuts it nicely. Really nicely played. So much space again on the left hand side. Why not exploit it? She disguised it well as well, right through the gate of the block of Kerry Walsh. 18-14 now. That's a gift. So this was testing from Misty May. Once more attack cut shot. This time a more traditional one. Plenty of pace taken off the ball as well. But Walsh can't quite find a re-blocking form as she had at the end of the first set. Not on the money. Looks as though we might be going to a third. Played deep court right on the line. How about that for judgment from Misty May Trainer? It was played deep, but it was measured to perfection. Only intended really to keep the rally going and allow a partner to recover. This though, ended up winning the point. It's been a charge and winning in straight set. That charge needs to begin here for the States. Over here, third touch. And it's a successful one. Now then, now then, now then. Deficit back to two. These Dutch girls will just start to hit on their nose dangling here. They're two points apiece. They're two away from winning the set. But they've looked down the other end and see who's there. There's the block. Just as it was in the first. Kerry Walsh turns up when it matters. As solid a barrier as you'll ever see at the net. She means business, runs straight back to pick up the serve. Back to within a point now. 
Holstein peels off. It is a set point that's brought up for the Netherlands. Is the United States charge going to be timed too late? Lovely hit by Marlin Van Yerzel. Serving for the set then, and to get themselves back in the match. May hits. Look for that line. She went in that direction. Still another set point to defend. But this is how Misty May kept it alive for now. She saw from deep again here. Puts it right to the back of the court. Sets up Kerry Walsh against Van Yerzel. Walsh with a touch, but it's blocked out. We're going to a third and deciding set between the United States of America, the Olympic champions, and the winners of two gold medals on the FIBB Swatch World Tour this year, the Netherlands, a team of Kaiser and Van Yersel. So, extremely entertaining stuff here in Norway. Anna Kaiser just consulting with a partner, asking what she'd like to do having won the toss. And the United States will be serving. That's now which side. So 21-18, 19-21. A set apiece. All been fairly even, Stevens. Dutch girls have played well throughout. They've uh, probably been ahead for the majority of points. But those have stayed and braved the cold. Know that it's worth doing so. They know that there's a real match on here. Before we head into the bumper weekend, the final four for the women tomorrow. We'll also be bringing you a male quarter final as well at the end of the day. And the male final four on Sunday. Who's going to be there though? It's all to be decided. Served from the right hand side as we look at it. Served to the right was the message from Walsh. That's exactly where it went towards Van Yersel. Kerry wins the block. Misty's turn to try and finish things off. Nice response by Santa Kaiser. Van Yersel, cross court, power, venom, pace, everything you wanted to throw at it. It brings up the points. It's a positive start for the Netherlands in the third and final set. set very close for the net. Kerry Walsh claiming infringement. As you can see by the decision given, and by the smiles on the face of Marlene Van Yersel. He doesn't look too much wrong with it. Right in front of the referee as well. That's solid defending. Misty May with another attempt. This time it's rolled into space. Roll shot down the line. Well, out of your picture, Kerry Walsh still complaining of reaching over from Marlene Van Yersel on that last point. No need for reaching here. There's immaculately measured stuff from Misty May trainer. Walsh peels off. Spin off the leg. Well, Misty May takes it away from the partner. And remember, side changes come every five points in a third and final set. We go to 15. No roof on the score. Two clear points to gain the margin that is required if you're the one this match. It's quite simple. The winner of the set takes the match and takes the place in the final four. No room for errors as Walsh is there. Well, she met the block of Santa Kaiser. Santa Kaiser's block couldn't meet the other side of the court. A 
place if oh so close for the Dutch. That's good setting and even better finishing. A reverse pokey brought out exactly when it needed to be used. So it was aimed at Walsh. Her turn to respond. A roll shot of her own that exudes class as well. So this is the third and final set going with side out. Not giving uh, Santa Kaiser a chance to uh, hit well high above the block. Not that deep service that the States are employing. Good spatial awareness again from the Netherlands. for them. This is the first ever meeting between these two teams. Ben Yuzlan, Kaiser not around during uh, the first part of the Walsh and May career. But they've not looked uh, that one bit intimidated though by the presence of the great champions at the other side of the net today. They've just played their own stuff and got on with it. S serving them well at the minute, 6-5 up. Good defence. And the block cook wins it on the day. Santa Kaiser. And now they open a two-point lead. Now the States will be thinking more than once or twice about things. Two points down. Oh, the wind getting older that one. Net infringement this time is called. The point goes the way of the United States. No argument either on the Dutch girls. Take another look at that one. Clear hit of the net from uh, Marlene Van Yers. Most of that two point deficit has been reeled back. The wind, I can tell you, getting up again in the last few minutes. Kerry Walsh getting up again, not quite making a clean block. Pace, power and weight of the force of the hit from Marlene Van Yers are doing for watch. Jump up for me. Cut shot. Exactly what they needed. Side out at the side change. Back to within a point. Well, as being soundly beaten, perhaps rising a little late there as well. Santa Kaiser confusion. And Kerry Walsh wants to get on with things. Straight for the ball, straight for the serve again. Eight points apiece. Walsh there, over again. Wind really starting to influence things once more. made it. She didn't make that. So nine each. Any mistakes here? We'll start to get magnified. Fifteen points to the aim. <laughs> Netherlands no let up there in their pressure. Response to everything thrown at them at the minute. Walsh feels off. May unable to get there. Well, that's nice. Kerry 
all shook. Again, level things up. Use of the poke. Dutch girls counting on the fact that it uh, might have just evaded the forward line. Defensive confusion. In the end, turns into a real stroke of luck. Uh, a wry smile on the face of Gary Walter. Uh, there are moments that go against you, and that was simply one of them. 11 10. Both Dutch girls going for the same ball. Mazer, it's hit, it's hit long though. And that could prove to be a fatal mistake as far as the match and tournament is concerned. Dutch already beaten one American team in the last round. Fendrick and Hansen, eight seeds of the USA, beaten in three sets. Touch from the hand of Van Yersel. Means that the States will be given a chance to try and win the point and level things up again. A serve aimed at uh, Santa Kaiser. Line shot brings up the two point lead again. Now two in front, two from victory. It is crunch time here on Santa Court and Stavanger. Do the States have anything different to throw against the Netherlands? Dutch girls have responded well, and there is a response of all responses to bring up match point. What a time to time their assault. Oh man, Trina. And Kerry Walsh will both look back here. And wonder to that middle part of the second set. Match going their way. Since then it hasn't really. No error allowed here. Misty mate. A lot of running to be done. Kaiser's there. Oh, it's a mistake from Kerry Walsh there. Sander Kaiser and Marlene Van Yersel end the charge of the Olympic champions on their return to Savonga. Two years since their last won it. The Dutch are into the semis. The USA are on their way home. What a day. Two sets to one. One of the big, big upsets of this tournament. However, those who've seen Kaiser and Van Yersel play this season will know that it comes as no big, big surprise. Carry with a miscontrol. Delight for the Dutch girls. The Netherlands have been the more consistent of the teams here this afternoon and walk off as deserved winners by two sets to one. So coming from one behind against the Olympic champions to win, doesn't get much better than that. However, they will continue or have to continue to up their game tomorrow as they head into the final four. 21-18, 19-21, 11-15. The Netherlands of Van Yersel and Kaiser move into the final four. Whereas Walsh and Maitreyn will have to regroup, get to Stad and go again in Switzerland next week. Santa Kaiser can't believe it. No wonder. Such big names. Their first ever meeting with this legendary, the team of all teams, right up there. Before Juliana Larissa came along, this was the team in women's beach volleyball. And today, they've been beaten by a side who never stopped asking them questions. The States couldn't find all the answers. On a very cold, windy summer evening here in Stavanger. The girls from The Hague who train in these conditions every day who get the better of their American counterparts. Well, we've much more beach volleyball coming up for you this weekend, of course. Women's final four tomorrow. That man, the coach, has so much work to do. Prepare to meet the best of the best. Having beaten the Walsh and May, they know they can beat anybody. Women's quarter-final ends like that. Remember to join us tomorrow 
for more on the Swatch FIVB World Tour here in Stavanger for the women's final four will be coming to you.